this is Kim Caldwell and today I wanted to talk to you about a subject that I find fascinating. I wanted to talk to you about chanting and the power it can bring into our lives and it's an ancient practice and we can use it um, today in our lives to bring more of what we want, more abundance, more happiness, more vibrance and health. So I, um, chanting comes in and out of my life. It's been in my life for years and years. Um, and always, I've always been fascinated with it. I'm like, there's got to be something to this. So I'm looking through a book, and you might want to check this book out. I just put it on order through Amazon. It's called The Eight Human Talents, and I'm reading from my computer for you. For, for you. And it's talking about one of the reasons that um, chanting mantras is so healing to us and so great for our mind, body, and spirit. It says the roof of our mouth has 84 energy points all along the upper palate. Mantras were given to us as special gifts. Long ago, highly evolved beings went into deep meditative states. They began reciting certain sounds that made the tongue hit these meridian points in the mouth in certain combinations. It is kind of like playing the piano. If certain notes are struck, a beautiful song is produced. Okay, so that's basically what's going on. We have energy meridians all over our body, as I'm sure everyone's becoming aware of. We can tap on them while being conscious to release negative emotion. And um, please check out on my YouTube my um, I have a wonderful video on releasing negative emotion from the mind, body, and spirit. It's very powerful. It will help you on many levels, and it's a great it's a great thing for you to know about also. So with mantras, though, these are something that we can do daily. We can become conscious of. We can pull into our lives. We are saying mantras. Everyone, you're going to really know what I'm talking about here. We're saying mantras every day. We're saying mantras that sound like there's never enough money. Um, I don't feel that good. Nothing ever goes my way. That person may be mad. That person just cut me off in traffic. The list goes on. You know what I'm talking about. We say these things over and over to ourselves so much that we become unconscious and we become unaware of what they are creating and it's, it's not anything we want. We're conscious enough now to know. So as we start using mantras, it's beautiful, it's an ancient practice, and it's a way for our minds to soften up. Now, one of the things I'm loving is I have found that it is really great to get a, um, a audio you enjoy with a mantra on it. Now, I'll put some links down at the bottom of this video for you, but one of my favorites right now, her name is Sada Satkar, and she has got some amazing mantras, and they are so beautiful to listen to and so engaging, you don't even realize you're doing it. It's just, it's just a pleasure to do, and then you find yourself kind of moving into the into the music and into the to the mantras with her and you don't have to try to learn anything because you're just listening to them repetitively and you start finding yourself saying them and thus you're you start creating on powerful levels and you notice that things aren't bothering you as much so try that play with that i have headphones and i listen to her and you know go on youtube check around and see what you like um, find some, play with that and see if that helps. Okay, also keep in mind that words are so powerful and words are so so powerful in our creating in both of my books, Activate Your Abundance and in How Green Smoothies Save My Life. I talk about switch words. Switch words were derived from this man, James Megan. He wrote the book, The Secret of Perfect Living. So there's three more books suggested to you. James spent 45 years of his life creating these words. Now, James... Um, basically understood that we could turn on our subconscious like a light switch, switch, switch word, and he did this through words, and he brought us some amazing words, and so um, you can play with those. Together is the master switch word. Together is the bringing together of your God self, your, um, your conscious, your subconscious, and your superconscious in order to create amazing things and to order to be the best you can be together. And if I can give you one hint, in any combination you use, all the masters, we, there's a, bunch of ma a lot of really smart people that I play with with switch words and they teach me and I teach them. The um, consensus is that you want to use together with any combination you're using. So you've got together, so you want to play with that. Um, my favorite is together divine love. Um, if you ever, and that's just pretty much speaks for itself, divine creates miracles, the extraordinary, and love puts a healing balm on anything. Okay, so when you are playing with your switch words, you are, again, you're using mantras and you're using them, um, you're using words as mantras, so you say these. By the way, if you ever lose anything, say together divine reach and you will find it very quickly. So I'm looking in Jane's book and I just turned to a page to see um, what we could find, and I turn to chapter 16, which I'll just read you a paragraph, but it says, How to Conquer Your Basic Fears. And he starts out, 
he starts out talking about fault finding. Now, I think we all have this, and I pray every day to God. I'm like, God, please give me the power not to judge other people or myself because it doesn't serve me in any way. So James says, fault finding with others, developing skill at discovering weaknesses and an inconsistency in others will begin to eat into your own peace of mind. If you keep it up forever, it will eventually rub, rob you of all the joys of your life. Oil the machine that drives fault finding out of your mind. Turn it on with the switch, praise. So, praise is our switch word for today. You can think of together, divine praise. Whenever we find ourselves in a moment where we're thinking heavy negative thoughts about someone, try together, divine praise. Or you can try your different um, mantras. Um, one of my favorite mantras we do every time we start yoga, so I'm just going to do this for y'all, and then y'all can go research and find the ones you like, but i got to do this one for you. This one is to bring back in your God mind, to know that you are God. And it is, I hope I get it right, we take a deep breath and we go, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. <laughs> okay, you get the point. Not my best one. Take a deep breath. Let's try it again one more time. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Okay, you can feel it vibrating everything. You can feel it moving in. You do it three times whenever you do it. One more time. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Okay, that's bringing in your higher self. That's bringing in your God mind. That's bringing in the best you can be. All right, so anytime you're in the middle of stress, you're in the middle of traffic, try one or any of these chants, load something up on a YouTube, um, and then go play if you want to on um, my YouTube. I have lots of different um, videos about switch words, about meditation, about all the ways to feel the best you can feel. All right. I hope I gave you some great ideas. Try chanting. I know it's a little weird. Oh, by the way, my people hate it. The people around me, my family, they're like, uh, you're driving us crazy. And I'm always glad I'm the only one who chants because it's got to be annoying. So maybe do it in the car. Do it at times when you have some privacy at first because people will make fun of you. But that's okay because we're going to like blast off and be amazing and do amazing things. And we're going to feel really good about them. And we're going to praise them. We're going to say together divine praise. All right. I send you peace and blessings, Kim.